Hey guys, welcome to another 1v1 for Dawn of War Soulstorm. Today we're watching Tau Empire vs Works on Blood River. And my opponent again is John. He asked me to post some games, so... Here you go. On the bottom side of the map I am with Tau Empire. This is not the best map for Tau, by the way. But it can be good. I don't know, it's probably the worst Tau map might be. Because it's so small and Tau can get a big pressure here and must to death on tier 1 and 5. So it can be hard if your enemy knows what he's doing. So I go for Fire Warrior and one Fire Warrior will capture this point. Also making the jetpack an upgrade for the stealth suits. On the top side of the map we have John. He went for two Slugger Boys, goes for Shooter Boys, Generator and probably Big Mac. Uh, very standard. Yeah, that's what he does. Also making the Tau Commander. Fire Warriors and Tau Commander and I will try to play defensively and upgrade my economy from what I recall. That's what I will try to do. A good way to play with Tau is by playing defensively. Upgrade economy, but this can also be quite risky if you don't do the damage. It can be risky against an oppo opponent that will go all in, for example. Someone that will go rush Tau without generator. This uh, Tau strategy can fail. So sometimes making Vespids and or Crutes and Vespids and trying to play more aggressively can be good. Still, I'm doing this build now and I hope it will work. Trying to keep this Fire Warrior at range, that's very important. Will Big Mac kill my stealth suit? Yeah, I do not notice in time. I, I don't even try to jump. I know it was too late. He would get killed on the fly anyway. On here I stay with this stealth suit and I, I will probably decap. Yeah, seems like I will not miss this. And I do the decap here. I hope it will not die at least. Gets reinforced. No, I do not decap and I jump away. I'd probably lose this if I uh, finish the decap, I am not sure. Unfortunate situation. Making one more fire warrior, this listening post already upgraded. 74 to 10 economy, not very good for the third minute. 86 to 10 for John. Yeah, two listening posts upgraded, good economy here. He took all of his points, takes critical locations. And he wants to do more damage with his shooting units. Having only one fire warrior close, needs to move this closer. Using the Tower Commander ability on the Big Mac. A very important focus on Big Mac. If you kill the Big Mac, that's a great advantage already. In the matchup. Yeah, more than half, than half HP down for uh, Big Mac. And he did not kill anything, did he? Seems like he did not. And he lost more than half HP. That's already also good for me. I do not reinforce these two squads completely, as you can see, that's no need for that. Blind investment, you don't know what to expect. I only saw the shooter boys, I don't know what uh, John is doing. I cannot risk investing in the fire warriors too much. I should think about going tier 2 also. That's why I built 3 generators, this is the third one. And I will need to place uh, Path to Enlightenment and go tier 2 
What's important in this matchup is that you get tier 2 and get the devil fishes so that you can transport fire warriors in inside the devil fishes and uh, it's easier to micro against works close combat. As you can see, John is investing in the storm boys. He might want to do some tier 1 and 5 damage on me, so I will need faster devil fishes to stop him. Took my relic here, have to build the listening post now, trying to defend. John also has uh, the big shooters and the shooter boys. Goes inside with a Big Mac Storm Boys. And here the battle begins. Two Storm Boys will hunt the Fire Warriors, obviously. Fire Warriors have no chances against Storm Boys in close combat. I also placed a Snare Trap, they slowed down the Storm Boys. They had to jump away and decap. Not, a best, not the best usage of these storm boys here because uh, they get damaged by both a listening post and another fire, fire warrior squad, also Tal Commander. Big Mac killed. Not a very good engagement here from John, but he destroyed one of my listening posts and decapped the strategic point. Nice damage done still. He goes tier 2 now, tier 2 banner this one. Goes for more choppy research, increases the damage for close combat on knob leaders. And only now I also go tier 2 on the 6 minute, quite late. Well, at least I do not go uh, outside of my base with the fire warriors. I mostly play defensive, trying to hold what I've got under my control. And trying to be very safe with all this. Nob squad on the way from John. Even more close combat power. A tougher boss's research. This is also a very good upgrade. Increases uh, the HP for Nob leaders, I believe. Also work leaders. Such as Big Mac and Warbus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Tier 2 ready for me. Time for Vehicle Beacon, I go for it instantly. Also this uh, Advanced Pulse Rifle, this is Tau Tier 2 Optics. Increases uh, the range and damage of Fire Warriors. Very important. One of the most important upgrades for Tau. Make this one in the first place. Now I will have two fully reinforced Fire Warriors, uh, Devilfish, Tau Commander. They might even add the Pathfinders and I am ready to make some engagements with this army. It will be a lot more safer than just moving fire warriors on the map in in the nowhere you don't know what to expect. Work may catch you and kill all your fire warriors very fast if you will not have the devil fish. Good engagement here by John, he will destroy my listening post and the relic and maybe even decap this. Yeah, uh, Devil Fishes gets out now. 110 to 30 economy for John. He builds uh, the tier 3 banner, yeah. And one more generator, and he might go tier 3. This is crazy. I go for first global upgrade on requisition now. I need more. My economy is only 98 to 60. I control only my uh, strategic points in the base. I don't have the relic. So I need that global upgrade. Also upgraded one stealth suit squad, fully reinforced, now adding uh, the these fusion blasters. So they will deal more damage against vehicles. As you can see, John retreats. He saw my uh, 
Devilfish and two fully reinforced fire warriors. It's risky to fight against this. He jumps and will probably stun this. Yeah, he stuns my Devilfish. I must get the fire warriors out and run away from here. Thankfully a snare trap was placed right here and they slowed down all these knobs with a big mech. I was happy about this. Still have to retreat. Man, lots of knobs got killed here. Like four or five knobs. And uh, now even more will get killed. Got a, also a Barracuda. I really like this combination. Devil Fishes, Fire Warriors and Barracuda. Especially versus works. There is no air units from work on tier 2. So Barracuda can be a very effective unit to make versus them. Barracuda can damage those close combat works. As you can see, yeah, mega armored knobs might get killed here. Most likely so. And what is this? LP3 on the way. I'm sorry for this Steam uh, message, it's my Steam. Not turned off. I'm forgetting to turn it off while recording. Not a big problem anyway. So what I'm having here? Uh, two devil fishes and a full HP Barracuda. Going for the third devil fish, you can only make three devil fishes. And trying to get closer to work base. Barracuda got stunned by the Big Mac and killed by tank boosters. Good job from John. Uh, he should go away with a Big Mac. Might go down. Very low HP for the Big Mac. Almost killed. So I have two Fire Warrior squads. Uh, Pathfinders. Three Devil Fishes. Stealth Suits and Tau Commander. Going for another LP3. And what's my map vision? I've got all my side of the map with the relic and also getting critical locations now. Doesn't look so bad for me. John is tier 3. Uh, this can be a problem. This can be a problem, but will it be a problem? Seems like John's economy is already quite low. 86 to 50. And that's not enough to support a tier 3 battle. Those gits are very expensive on reinforce. Big Mac is low HP. Not a successful engagement here with the knobs. They probably will go down. I've marked them with the pathfinders. Look how fast they die. My devil fishes here go down in seconds. They have very low HP. So tank boosters destroy them really fast when they get uh, detected. Only one squad of flash gates from John, some knobs. That's not enough. I make more barracudas and I go for K on command post. Yeah, huge difference in economy. My economy is much higher. Once I get my K on up, I think at this point Tau becomes more powerful. Work World need lots of investment in close combat if they want to beat a tier 3 K on Tau Empire. You can micro away still from those uh, close combat work units, you can get inside your devil fishes, you can go uh, behind the LP3. The work will lose a lot on reinforce and even while approaching towards Tau army they will lose too much because the Tau range is crazy. Look at this. 
got marked these flash gates, uh, they have the juice which saves them, them for some time from uh, the mad duck. During this time I get inside the devil fish, once it ends I get outside and kill those flash gates. Seems like the second juice was applied, yeah. Too much ducks in here, actually three. Barracuda also will deal nicely with these flash gates. Now he has to retreat. So much damage was done to these uh, flash gates, all of them mostly dead. They did not die only because of the mad duck ability. They are immune to death, but they received the, the damage. Seems like I will catch these works in the negative cover and fight them. No uh, mad duck ability left for being applied while retreating. No reserve was made by John, so he now finds himself in a very bad position with only two flash gates, war bus and one mad dog. And this is not enough to kill this Kayon army. Man, these barracudas are so good. Three barracudas now. And in Kayon barracudas are very good. Sweet view from here. I don't really like this red sky on Blood River. Too much blood in the atmosphere it seems. He placed a bomb. Did he kill anything? I didn't even notice it. Maybe he killed one of my stealth suits or maybe he killed his own mad duck. GG. Another devil fish on the way. So it's not even necessary to mass the fire warriors. Two fire warriors, pathfinder, devil fishes, barracuda. No need for fire warrior mass to win orcs. And the battle will end very soon. Yeah, maybe more storm boys would have been better. More storm boys with um, more aggressive pressure on tier 2. Also uh, more knobs. I think uh, John's decision to go tier 3 wasn't a good one. He still played quite nicely. He a bit failed with the engagements and he failed with his tier 3. I don't think that's a good idea. If you want to have more chances against Tau, you must kill them as much as, as fast as possible. Kill them. I think the best timing to kill Tau is early tier 2 and until tier 2 and 5, when they are not very powerful. Once Tau hits tier 3, it's very difficult to defeat them. Pretty one-sided on, unit, on, on the units killed, as you can see. I kill like 70 more units almost. Or no, actually 60. No, 70, yeah. 70 more units almost. 68. Destroyed th three more buildings. Well, he must lots of works. He played... I think he played the right way until tier 2 and 5. But then he hits tier 3 and that destroyed his tactic. On resources I somehow win. Yeah, 4000 more resources almost. On technology it's quite close. Uh, John is ahead because of the reinforced units again, but these reinforcements weren't really successful. 
too many works were being killed without damage being done. So that's it with this game, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave your feedback or uh, the dislike and let me know what's wrong if you press the dislike button, I'd like to hear the feedback. If you are new to my channel, subscribe, thank you for watching, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.